this session, we are going to be making these windmills or pinwheels as some people call them. And if you blow them in the breeze, they are going to spin. Now what do we need for this craft? We need a sheet of 6 by 6 inch paper. I'm using patterned cardstock. You can use whatever you have on hand or you can use something like a metallic cardstock such as this one. I'm also using a pencil. I'm using a plain pencil. But if you have one, you can use one of these fancy glittered pencils. You also are going to need a straight pin. This is a pin that has a pretty good size head and a bead. We're going to use our scissors, our ruler, and our pencil, as well as a piece of tape. Let's get started. We're going to start by marking lines from one point to the next, like so. So we're going to make a line on each side, one point to the next, like so. Now that we have our lines, we're going to mark one inch on each, from the middle point to the line, we're going to mark off one inch. From the middle point to the line, one inch. Let's go again. From the middle point to the line, one inch. And from the middle point to the line, one inch. So we are going to have these two long lines, but they're marked off with these four points. We're going to cut up to these points. We're going to cut from the point up to these points, each of these four lines. And when we get to this point, we are going to stop. Okay, so let's cut our paper. We're now going to mark four points on each of these triangles that we've cut. Okay? So we're going to mark the left point. We're going to mark a point on the left side of each. Turn, mark your point. Turn, mark your point. Turn, and mark your point. So you're going to have four points on the four corners. We are now going to take our pin and we're going to start with the very first point. Now I'm just going to put my pin through the middle area so that I would know where that is because I'm going to turn this over and so I know where my middle point is and I'm going to look for my first point. I'm going to put the pin through that point. Be very careful not to stick yourself. Okay. Now I'm going to pull up the second triangle. I'm going to hold the first one in place. And I'm going to put the pin through second triangle. I have two triangles so far. This is my third triangle. I'm going to look for my point. I'm going to put the pin through again very carefully. I do not want to get stuck. And on my fourth triangle, I'm going to put the pin through. You do have to be very careful because it's all the way in there, but you want to put your pin through that fourth point. And then you're going to go through that little hole that we made at the beginning. And we're almost there. You need to hold the pin in place. I am holding it in place with my thumb and my two fingers at the back. While I'm still holding it in place, I'm going to put my pony bead into the pin, like so. Now I need to get my pencil. I'm going to take my pencil. I'm switching hands so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to place the pin through this eraser. Okay, so I am 
placing the pin all the way through to the other side of the eraser. Okay, and that's going to keep my pin in place. All I need to do is to secure this pin at the back. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to pull the pin down. Okay. So the pin is now, the, the exposed part of the pin is facing down. But it's still pretty pointy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of tape and I'm using this decorative tape. You can use clear tape, scotch tape. And I'm going to wrap it around that pin to secure it and make sure that it does not stick me. And there we have our window or pinwheel. If you haven't done so, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram or subscribe also to our YouTube channel.